up over to a brothel, is he? Oh, you don't, don't mean to. Stare or I'll flog some manners into you. How can I be of service? See you later. Such lovely natural surroundings. Yellow eyes, slashed face, just like he said. Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia's enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you, said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself, but the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Be glad to look over what you got. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but well, we've ones with drawings as well. Let's see these books of yours. Up for a few rounds of Gwent?
Welcome! Welcome! What have you got there? So long. can buy today welcome welcome so long we we'll get a bonus for working in piss poor weather <laughs> i'm knackered the thinking customer will see right away i've got the best deals this side of the pond Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. This 
Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hey, white hair. Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't blush. Virginia cut off his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back, offering a they hand extended He's all like a horse. Keep up, we've got a cat. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen matter. Reuben. Also, so uh, uh, chose Bronx. not to come. Easy, Cleaver. All son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior is gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to horse sons hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. 
And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house, though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real Witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. 
Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me.
Oh, Bart, not again. Bart. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there, Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Chorfun go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart? No. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No. But I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bart, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like... 
I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? But no minute, Scott. But rock, Scott. Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. Hiss. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piss odor. Not animal all that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm-hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Well... Well, but turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfun go. But God, now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? Not much to do. When Bart not much do, Bart think lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. Ah, thanks for your help. So long. Hmm. Long. Long. Long.
pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Shouldn't go any further without <sighs> taking that antidote. <sighs> Getting harder to breathe. <clears throat> Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. gotten yourself into a hey, Bart me. I mean you one more see why did he lock where didn't take but the... anything something no. what no. right not a hissing they but what where? I'll do it Great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Uh, and I thought 
Witcher's potions were vile. Grading. Couldn't push much through that. What now, Nurse? Of course. Definitely came through here. The thug Dijkstra hired. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Need to bring the corpses. Otherwise, the enemies will never stop conjugating. The adrenals will go feed elsewhere.
trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. 
Threw up the antidote, just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing interesting. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, Brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel 
decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! I do. What do you want? Time I was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Welcome, welcome. So long. Captured and displayed in the sideshow of the size. Well, it could be quite top notch swords. Master crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh. I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. You might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by Fergus. He might help. Guildsmen claim there's no one better anywhere south of the Ponta. Willing to craft something for me? So long.
Top-notch swords. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf, is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? I I play. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not? Try some shoddier players, will ye? Once you've learned a few tricks, come back for a rematch. How can I beat? Still. Ah. St Why not?
can't rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquise Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. How can I be of service? How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting, or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir, reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think, but then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance, a dozen or so chests and no more. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? I need coin. Guess I have to take out a loan? Of course. I'll arrange it right away. Just like that? Lady Yennefer of Vengerbird long ago declared herself your guarantor. Were these circumstances ever to arise? Besides, we tried and true methods for collecting debts. Every trial needs love. That's it, Roach. Remember that, ye faithful. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres.
1245 to 1254. Hmm, satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm, potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Didn't expect to see you here, certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was, and Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish, but you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. 
Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm hmm So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work.
place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Dwana Ar Ice. No, Taro, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the lass. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. My dad doesn't like elves very much. You and know. What happened, kid? <laughs> they... they... <laughs> hey, wait! The Grey Git! Grab him! Show me that! Oh, oh, stop walking into his sword! Ah! Hey, leave it to me! No! He's hexing! You play with him! Come on, Roach. So, how'd you go with this? What's thing? he doing here? I was fuffing about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Oi, Grey Knight. Need a squire? That's it, Roach. What village are you from? Willows. Listen to me, <sighs> Eddie, a two <sighs> days' road from the city. It's a rank. Your god arrived here just before winter. Black wolves can do no harm. You're taking me for someone else. You're the only one here who's made a mistake. Leave him alone. 
And who might you be? Temple guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush me teeth. Go home, merchant, and try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm knackered. Hmm? <sighs> Move it. Ah, uh. what a smack. Faster. Fix it for you? No. Sit all come. Place. But he's so dumb. We can go at it here. I swore it was a tourist. Awful pale. Thing I piss me trans. One drink all I had. Stop going there, or play some of the dirty fish tank. Go, go. Spend all night spanking board. So tired, you're positive. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks.
Faster. I've had enough of living. Come on! Ah! Oh. What's he doing here? Elvin blood, eh? Again, want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. <laughs> Enough? Yes, but next time. Go back to Mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. 
I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard! thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. What's he doing here? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Though it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... We'll tempt it were ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize, as nicely as you can. For forgive me, me lady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low, and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kolb. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. In 
And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. It's a material world, and I'm a material world. Yes, you! It for you. You've got no. water on the brain! Should I come to the wrong place? But he said... Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh... Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not, 
Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance... For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Maybe. But for now, she's my whore. And I say you can't insult her. Funny you feel that way, but so be it. Now, Philippa. Talk. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, playing tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? 
Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menger will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. No torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horson's casting spells. Get him! Oh. <clears throat> Roast on a fire! Take him alive!
Don't let him drive you back! You can't run. Well?
I think that's all of them. That was close. Axie in a crowd? Geralt, there was no way that could work. Sorry. I couldn't let them torture you. You mean too much to me. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga, from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals... Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. For your help, Geralt. Don't mention it. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Triss. You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? 
Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menge. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. How do you find out? I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> ah, Geralt. I should have you strangled, but I like you, you bastard. I like you too, you count without a county. Now that we've professed our feelings for each other, how'd you figure it out? Since from the start you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. Wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know. I've far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Enough for Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Thank you, 
eternal fire. Ah! Oh, you Every don't mean presence to. presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Oh, you don't mean to. Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Eternal fire. Protect King Radovid. Ah! Come on, Roach. Nothing doing. So he waits for me. Come closer. Don't be shy. You'll find out everything you ever need. Is a war veteran. Spare me, crown. Deliver us from any fail. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Happiness will come today. to hide. Classic. Tris, how do you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Tris. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. You'll talk. Just a matter of time. So save us some, yourself some too, and stop acting tough. Or what? Or I'll have to hurt you. Permanently. I see you know your way around an interrogation. So do I. You're the bad one. All threats and torture. And the red one's the good one, full of sympathy and sweet promises. That's where you're wrong. Had enough? Fuck off! I can take this! Of course you can, but I'm just getting started! Driz, stop. First, let him! Please. So, gonna talk? Uh, depends on the question. Where'd Manga hide Siki Reuven's treasure? I haven't a clue. 
You realize one word and you'll howl with pain again. Yeah, and yet I'd still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? Yes. No matter what you do, witch, that I will never reveal. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. You might have said so from the start. Before your bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. You expect an apology? No. But have a right to be surprised, haven't I? The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> Why? I told you... I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you! I helped! It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, slay, and gave. Really showed your claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from these bastards. I... Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home, bathe, and get drunk. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But... There is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenfurt, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Whoa there, Roach. 